Hello, Assalamualaikum everyone. A very good morning. It's um, 7.25 in the morning. I'm in Incheon Airport, Korea, South Korea. I'm here for a business trip. I'm gonna be here for about one week. The airport here is um, quite happening. Okay, I'm told to meet at this gate. Hi, Singapore. Hi. <laughs> I'm here uh, for this. So, are you sending me to a hotel? I <laughs> <laughs> is a bus, so I'm just gonna hang out. This is what I'm having for breakfast pretzel. Okay, the bus took a stop uh, for about 30 minutes. I'm just gonna see what uh, they have inside. I'm actually heading towards uh, Guangzhou area. I read that Guang means light and Ju means um, province. So I'm heading towards the light province. It's uh, really cool. I think it's autumn. Nice cool breeze here. Tom and Tom coffee. Vending machine selling toothpaste and tissue. This is where I'm staying. Right. The view. So this is a view from my hotel and that is where I'm going to work that place it's a convention center ah oh, my taxi is here okay thank you I thought the first thing I want to do is to look for a mosque Okay, I have reached um, the mosque. In fact, when I Google uh, Guangzhou Mosque, uh, this picture appear. Okay, and this is actually Korea Islamic Dawah Center. I thought I want to visit the, the Dawah Center first, the mosque first, because I want to try and do a prayer here. And also I'm looking for halal food. And I thought if you go to a mosque, around the mosque uh, will congregate all uh, the people and perhaps there will be a uh, halal uh, outlet. It's actually 3 o'clock and it's past uh, lunch time. So I'll bring you inside. So if you want to enter the mosque, you have to walk over here. There is a door behind here. Let's try. Hello, Assalamualaikum. And the seats are in my room and no okay bismillah Check out the mimbar guys.
So Guangzhou Islamic Dawah Center or the mosque, uh, in, they, they have another name for it which is Masjid Umar Ibn Hatta, mashallah. This is one uh, one of our prophets, uh, uh, great Sahaba, right? Radiallahu anhu. So <clears throat> they, they conduct a lot of activities here. They conduct the Jumu'ah prayer here. You can also have cooking classes here. This is also the place where they have orientation program for new Muslim converts. Um, interesting. Very nice. It's very calm. Uh, actually, there's no one here. I'm hoping to meet someone. I just came out from that shop. The owner is Kasim Khan. He is also the person who built this mosque. Mashallah, tengok tu pala dia bukan main banyak lagi eh. And uh, he told me that when he came here uh, a few years back, there wasn't any mosque in Guangzhou area. So he has decided to to build it so that everyone can uh, solat Jumaat here. Uh, every time it's Jumaat. Uh, a hundred odd people will be uh, doing their prayers here and he doesn't want me to interview him he doesn't want people to know who he is and uh, wow mashallah i really hope and i really pray that this mosque uh, will continue to prosper for the people of guangzhou area okay now it's time to find food so we have a convenience store here Kasim told me that he's the only shop that is 100% halal so I'm I'm just going to look around maybe I go here first wow I kept seeing this all kinds of vending machine in Korea just now you were selling toothpaste now selling all these small and cute nice things small garden just outside the mosque I couldn't find um, halal food nearby I'm settling for a smoothie at one bean coffee shop. Oh, thank you. Hi. <laughs> thank you. So this is my smoothie, guys. Phone call from home. Hello. Hi. This is my lunch. When I was uh, walking around the mosque area, I noticed that the residents here are uh, mostly made up of senior citizens. Maybe this is quite a, a very small town. Uh, they have a supermarket around, uh, mechanics, very very small area. I still can't find a kebab store or any halal store. Maybe I didn't walk deep enough. Um, I'll try just a bit more and then I think I'm gonna go back. I think that's a mini, it's a mini drone. Mini drone on a vending machine, guys. Since I can't find halal food, I have to resort to this uh, waffle. This waffle is really, really soft. It's, it's really sweet. I don't think. Uh, it's good for someone of my age but I have no choice I think this will fill me up uh, tonight 
the owner of the shop is showing me where the kebab store is. Where is it? There? Or there? Over there. Oh, okay. See? So, have you ever been to a situation where you go to a country and you can't find halal food? I'm in that situation now. I don't really mind because, you know, you can still eat, try and find fish or bread or pastries. Just that I'm going to be here for four to five days and you just need to find something staple. Uh, at the end of my trip, I want to go somewhere where there's uh, a lot of halal food, a lot of interesting places so that I can bring to you uh, sights and sounds of Korea. Until I meet you again, end of the week, Assalamualaikum from Korea.